Hmm. Okay. Let's check this particular thing over here. What the world is this one? What do you think this machine is? The bottom part looks like some kind of dolly. And it's got this 5x5 five five grid of metal boxes. The top row is empty though. Yeah. Do you think we're supposed to put something in them? Oh, well, not something, I guess. Probably more boxes. Hmm. Machine on a dolly. The top row of cubies... Doesn't have any boxes in it though. Cubies? Cubbies? Should I put some in there? Empty container. Neutral water. Acidic water. Basic. And more basic. An empty plastic container. It says basic water. So does that mean we're supposed to put basic water in here? Probably. A plastic container with nothing in it. It says basic basic water on it. Basic. <laughs> basic hound uh, water. Plastic container with nothing in it. Does this icon here mean don't drink this? It says acidic water, so I'm going to go out on the limit here and say we probably shouldn't drink it. Then again, it's empty, so it's not like there's anything to drink anyway. Acid water. So what, like vinegar or something? Uh, I suppose. <laughs> Whatever. I think this is probably more like the water they use in beauty products. Mm. It's a plastic bottle. Neutral water. This one says natural water. Do you think that means we're supposed to put water from nature into it? From nature? Okay, I think I heard... <laughs> I thought I... I thought I heard something outside. Actually, I'm gonna check this a little bit. No clover. Look at it again. It doesn't say natural. It says neutral. Clover, you... <laughs> you you probably need some glasses. I mean, Jesus. At this point, it is bad. That means it's not the city or basic. It's right in the middle. Hmm. All right, I'm I'm back. Let's uh let's check this a little bit more. What about these numbers? Fractions. Nah, I think these are pages from a day calendar. And the blue ones are Saturdays, and the red ones are Sundays. Saturdays, Sunday. So the black numbers are weekdays. Hmm, five pages from a day calendar. It looks like they're for January 13th, March 27th, May 7th, July 30th, and November 11th. In fact, <laughs> oh, hey, look at this. Hey, there's something in the drawer. Hey, there's something in the drawer, indeed. Wonder what it is. It's a metal piece. Oh. What do you think this is? It's got a sort of metal shaft here. And it's got these grooves cut all the way down the side. Ah. This indeed is a metal screw. Yeah, like a metal screw. Yep, there you go. Maybe we need to combine it with something. Yep, we combine the metal screw with the... With a female screw and we get... A baby! <laughs> yeah, look at this. And now I got a bun. And now I got a baby. We probably need to attach it to a machine, though. Have you seen anything that looks like it needs a bun? Uh, whoa! The fu- Oh, God. What are you doing? You broke it! Warm drawer. What? Whoa, what the hell? This drawer is warm! That's ridiculous. Why would the drawer just be... You're kidding. It really is warm. <laughs> yeah, almost as if this was on top of a unit... Like a... Like a, like a unit of some sort for a computer. It gets it warm. What's going on here? You took this out of the dolly, right? Yeah. Then maybe it's for heating food up. Yeah. Basically. Someone could have used it recently, so there's still some residual warmth. Someone used it re recently. Hmm. Can we open this? Hmm. The screen's dark. Maybe it's not on? 
It looks like there's a card slot right under it. You think maybe there's a connection? More than likely. Looks like a card slot. Probably for some kind of special card. Hmm. Okay. Well, we're totally not going to be able to open that anytime soon. Like, for now. Well, she's not totally. The top row of cube cubbies doesn't have any boxes in it, though. Should I put something in there? Like... Like one of, like one of these? I mean, she's not... I mean, it's too big, of course. No way I'm going to be able to, op to put, like, containers over here. Can we actually put the... Uh, the containers back? Nah, probably not. We can put water... I bet that we're gonna have to put specific number in their specific containers. It's just... It's gonna depend on these numbers, isn't it? But, yeah, either way. Let's just do this one first and see what this is gonna be about. There we go. Should be in there pretty good now. Yeah, let's get to me. Well, why don't you go ahead and push it? And there. Did you hear that? Yeah, sounds like the lock open. So can you open it? Yeah, it seems so, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, nothing. So it is supposed to open. Oh, it's empty. I wonder why. Looks like I can't wonder open it from both sides. See? <laughs> okay. I think you could do that from the front or back too. And there's no hinge. It's just one huge lid. It's just sitting on top of the bottom. Hmm. Hey, does it look like there's something inside that ice cube to you? Yeah, you're right. I wonder if we can get to it. Well, we won't just be grabbing it, that's for sure. This glass is in the way. How about dropping it through that hole? Hole? Oh, it's one of those puzzles, eh? <laughs> There's a square hole down here, see? I think you just need to slide the ice cube into it. Yeah, we're just gonna have to get the prize by maneuvering this stuff. I really have to explain it. Alright, fine. Just pay attention. Alright. Enlighten us, Clover. Just like last time when you taught us the lessons of that, like, you taught us about that weird clock in four, in four steps. <laughs> you can slide the ice... Okay. You can slide the ice cubes by clicking and dragging the mouse or using the arrows. Move the ice cube with something in it to the hole in front. You can slide four of the ice cubes, but there is a limit to the number of times each one can be moved. Once you read the limit, the ice cube will freeze in place. Okay. Um... So there is a specific time limit. Ow! Did it freeze? I think it froze. Yeah, it froze. So, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it depends. Ah, I see. Okay, we're totally gonna need... We're gonna need to get it stuck, like, right over here. So, we're gonna need a cube for that. Nah. No way it's gonna work like that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That should be it. It's frozen in place, so I only need to get the card. On the, like, right over here. Oh, okay. I go over here, go over here. There you go, sweet. Whew, okay. 
Ah, it worked. Good job, Sigma. Open it up. We should be able to get that prize. I mean, I skip now. Alright. Sweet. We should have to melt it, though. Hmm. Maybe if we put it inside over here. A machine on a dolly. The top row of cubbies doesn't have any boxes in it, though. Should I put some in there? Maybe if we combine this with this, it is pretty warm, and then we just put it inside of you. Um, alright, now to put the drawer and the ice back inside. Alright, I'm just gonna have to... I think we're gonna have to wait. Yeah, it'll, it turns on automatically. Oh, you hear that? It's probably warming me up right now. You should probably keep an eye on it. Hmm... <laughs> oh! The microwave sounds like it's done. All right, let's get our popcorn. Open it up and have a look. All right, we got a card. Hey, look, the water from the ice melted. Ah! Hot! And the card's underneath the water. Okay, here it goes. Ah! Are you okay? Just kidding. <laughs> Dick move. <laughs> okay. So I got this. So what do you think the deal is with the card? I mean, thank God that we didn't have to make like a... To make like some sort of a thing to get that card without touching the water with our hands. We can just brute force our way there. So what do you think the deal is with the card? Uh, it has visitor ID on it. So wouldn't it be for like authenticating or something? It might be able to use it to activate something. Yeah, maybe to activate this, like right over here. There's what looks like a card slot below the monitor. All right, let's slide this baby in. Yeah, go for it. Ah, what? Hey, what's going on? Red? You mean, you tell me that there's such a thing as a red screen on this? Outside of blue and green and, and white? <laughs> Hold up. What a disaster, what a tragedy this is. Looks like it's on now. Why is that screen red? Oh, it actually hurts my eyes a little bit, I don't know. Do you think something's wrong? Wait, it says something. The number of ration boxes insufficient. Please recti rectify. Cannot verify presence of acidic water vessel. Please rectify. Cannot verify presence of neutral water and basic water. So we need food and water. Hmm. Number of rations boxes is insufficient. Okay, so we need to put the water and the food inside accordingly. Okay. In which case... Nutrient balance. One week. Box lunch. Ugh. This feels quite poopy. I am not liking this one bit. Uh. Alright, well, let's... Actually, you know what, let me just uh, see about some other stuff. So, we need to put in the right things in order to open this stuff. We checked all of this, we got what we need from that ice box, and we need to do something with this. What about this, though? Do we have anything that can tell us which, like... How to put the right water? What's this thing? Uh, it's got a faucet, so... I think it's connected to the water storage tank up there. So you'd use it to pour water? Yeah, there's a drain too. Oh, yeah, in the middle here. Hey, Sigma. Yeah? Didn't you just find something you can put water in? Yeah, totally. Actually, you know what? Let me just uh, see about some stuff. Does any of... Does any of this stuff have anything to do with water? The day the man was abducted. What the hell does this mean? Water, 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 water. No. Water, 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 water. No. Okay, well, in which case, maybe we should just put... I could get rid of water here. Now, let's, let's put some water here. Let's see. Let's fill this thing. Water filled container. I pressed the zero button and got this water. Oh, hold on a second. Maybe zero is for neutral, 
free is for basic maybe and then acidic is free yeah you know what just in case let me just let me see about this down the drain with you all right let's let's put plus three for now for basic water fill the stuff actually you know what let me just see about some stuff around here can we put this back over here number of basic water vessels insufficient okay then how about this no wait hold on a second let's uh, put the other basic water here see how this one is gonna go I'll just put this one back over here. There we go. Let's see. What does it say now? Number of rations, acidic water, neutral. Okay. It doesn't show me like any error for the basic water, so I guess that works. All right. Well, in which case, let's uh, let's fill in the rest of the stuff. Neutral should be on zero. Obviously. Alright, and now we shall use the acidic water on minus 3 and get that water as well. There you go. Now I think that we solved the water problem. Let's see. Number of ration boxes is sufficient. Content of acidic water vessel incorrect. What? Content of neutral water vessel incorrect? Are you kidding me? Ugh. Okay. Well, not even the neutral? Are you kidding me? Okay. Then let's try with two, I guess. Uh, I bet that there's like some sort of a hint somewhere and I don't, I don't know. Okay, let's try with two. Okay, I think that's good. Like, the acidic water is good. What about the neutral, though? Obviously, it would, it would have to be, like, zero of some sort, but apparently not. And maybe we should try with one? Hmm. Okay. So you know, the only thing that we need are the rations. The water rate is pretty good for right now. Hmm. Weekdays, Sunday. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. I guess we shall... Now we shall go and check this. See what we can do with this. Actually, you know what? Let me just uh, write this stuff down over here. Let me see. I have... Okay, I have like a piece of paper over here. I don't... I don't care about uh, writing this on the memo. That's just for... That is for... That is gonna be for the codes. Because I bet that they were gonna find like more codes in the future, like the ID pass, like the ID stuff for that computer. We have found the password for that uh, for that computer with the with the line, but we are totally gonna need. Red. And this one is blue. I'm just gonna write the colors as well while at it. Alright. So we got the dates. Yeah, these are these are for the months, I bet. Like it's one through twelve, which means these are categorized for months. For example, we have mm,
January? Actually, let me just see about something over here. These are categorized... Yeah, first is the month, of course. I don't even know why I have to think about this. First month... 13. No, I, just want, I want the archive. Let's see about this. First half of the year. One thirteen, like January thirteenth. That is A B C D A B C D E. Okay, okay. Let me let me see about this. Let me see if I if I got this right. In the first three months D. And then 13. What? Are you kidding me? Or hold on a second. I think I I think I also have the um No, it's definitely not a row, I mean. D 13 D 13D. No, oh, hold on a second. D13? No, wait, what the fuck am I. Wow, I'm such an idiot. It's E, not D. Why, 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 do I, why did I keep thinking of D instead of E? Let's see. No, that's still not good. What in the world? Hmm. No, oh, hold on a second. If it's here, like on the calendar, here we have 13. On D. This, no, with E. God damn it, why do I confuse E with D? Man, I have to go back to elementary school. I really have to. <laughs> Either way, E13. But if we were to look at this, it kind of looks similar, so maybe it's E3. Let's see, is this how it's gonna work? 13, E, and then 3. Oh, thank god. Okay, so that's how you're you're gonna have to do this. There. Did it work? Look at the shells. Huh? Mm, the shells. The jars. Whatever you want to call them. Ah, sweet. We got our food. All right, let's eat. Box of meat rations. Sweet. I wonder what this box is. Is this a picture of meat? I guess it's some kind of ration. A ration? They're preserved food that can keep for a very long time. Sometimes they hand them out in the army. Sometimes they hand it out in the army. Given what's inside, it might be more accurate to call this a ration box. So in here is some meat that's been processed and preserved. I would imagine so. Hey, didn't we see something kinda like this somewhere else? You know, that reminds me of the machine on the dolly. Maybe this needs to be put in one of those one of the cubies. Alright, well, I guess so. A ration box with a picture of meat on it. Hella seems to think maybe we should insert it into the machine on a doll. Alright, well, I guess so. Let's let's move on to the other stuff. Next is uh 327. Like 27 of the third month. So it's like right over here, like the last row. The last row, the second column. So it would have to be B14. Okay then. B14 it is. Coming right up. Look, and a new one. It just popped out. Sweet. Let's get it. Actually, we probably could just sit here and input codes as much as we want. Let's see. Next is... Mm, 
Like the fifth month. Let's see. The fifth month is somewhere in the middle, right over here. It says seven. So it's like it's this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of the first column. Oops. Actually. Oh, wait, did it say like some sort of instructions there? I think so. No. Okay, what does it say? 7A. Okay. Well, I, I, now I do need to check the walls as well. Uh, okay, this is totally not a good day, must say. Okay. This. What was it like? A and then 7, right? Yeah, there you go. This is what I thought. Alright. There we go. Come on, Jor. Sweet. Okay, so now we have that. Next one is... Seventh. Month, seventh. Thirtieth day. Let's see. It should be like on the second. Thirtieth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six A. Hmm. Six A. Okay. Let's see. Unless I'm doing this wrong. A six. There you go. All right. And the last one should be eleven on eleventh. Looks like there's another one. Sweet. And now, 11th of 11th. 11th. Should be like in the middle right over here. 11 is the last column. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. G. Okay. G6. Like a G6. Like a G6. No. Okay, that makes five. Come on, let's do this. Let's do this, bro. And, you know, I've actually been thinking about this as well. What if. And hear me out. What if. We used that one uh, piece of hint that says. The day the man got abducted of some sorts. What was it like? The day the man was abducted. Maybe if we think about the date Sigma got kidnapped, like December 25th. Maybe we can input that kind of password uh, inside over here to do something. I don't know, because otherwise... I have no idea, because this is the last password, which will more than likely have something to do with these, um... Like, nutritional balance charts of some sort, and it will definitely have something to do with that. Otherwise, we pretty much solved, like, every puzzle over here except this. And it has something to do with the date. So, let me think about it this way. It would have to be December 12th. Like, the last month. Which would mean... 25th, second column, second to last row. It ought to be 13B. Let's see, is this actually gonna work? I bet it would actually work. B, 13. Sweet! What are we gonna get with this one? Ah, the password. The skin's blue now. This had to have been the the file password. Do you think this could maybe maybe possibly be it? Yeah. It's probably the safe password. Uh, that's good, right? Well, there's one problem. The screen shuts off after a set amount of time. No! We need to be fast! I can do it. I got a really good memory. All I need is a little moment. Okay. Sweet deal. Well, did you memorize it? 
Indeed I did. It's locked up, uh, it's locked up way up here. It's locked up way up here. Phew. What a relief. Alright. Yeah, that, uh, that's pretty good. Now back to this, though. We got all the food rations, so... Question is, how, I, how am I supposed to put these? Like, based on color? Yeah, it has to be color. Like I'm thinking of this. Or it doesn't really matter. It does it automatically for me either way. So... Let's do this. Let's put this stuff inside here. And then... Do the fun puzzle. Look at the skin. Yeah. Let's see. The chart shows the nutrient values that each staff member requires for the next five days. We arrange the order of the rations boxes so that they match these values. By jerking a box over another one. You can swap them. Alright. Let me give it a shot. <sighs> okay. Data. Oops. Oh, I don't get it. Come on. You, you, you just sit there like two seconds and you say you give up. <laughs> okay. Data back. Okay. Okay, so this one is good. Okay, how, how am I even supposed to do this? Month, Tuesday, we can already change the dates. What can we change though? Oh, from uh, from over here. Okay, gotcha. So we need to change between some stuff around here. So let's let's check some of the stuff around here. Meat, fish, soup, French fries, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so f these are for each day. A is good. We just need to ch We just need to swap for the rest of the letters for the rest of the days. For day A, actually, hold on. Let me just uh, check something just to be sure. I cannot even check this one. Okay. Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is gonna. This is gonna take a bit. First, I'm gonna have to figure this one out. But something tells me that even if I figure this out. Yeah, it's gonna take me a while, so it needs a decent level of orange, quite a bit of red, but very low levels of yellow, <laughs> if it makes any sense. Actually, let me just uh, write some of this stuff down. Um, six, seven cubes of orange, five, six, seven, nine of red. Four. Okay. Let's see if we can make like a configuration of some sort that will make us. Mm, four, six, eight, ten. Okay, we lowered that. Oh okay. Let me see. I mean, we can put like multiple ones like this if we want, but that's not how it's gonna work. We don't need that much protein. God damn it! I need I need to stop uh, to uh, stop pressing this particular back button, but instead this particular back button. It is it's it's automatic. I just. <laughs> uh. Okay, well, I've wrote the numbers. Let me let me just uh, calculate based on this. So we need we can only put like four types of foods. We can change this as well. Now we're definitely not gonna need that much meat here. Yeah, there's just too much meat. It's like. 
fish and uh, fish and meat has like the most amount of protein. We don't need that much protein. Instead, we need some vegetables of some sort and some soup, maybe. So let me just put some one over here. We don't need this, that's for sure. Let's see. That is pretty good. We just need to. Mm. No, that's too much of that. Too much of that. Maybe like this. No, that's too little protein. Carbohydrate. Decent enough, but not quite. Ah, I only need like one more fat. Don't I? I actually... No. Okay, seven hydrate. We need like one more protein and one more fat. What if we swap one of these? Nah, that's too much hypochydrate. What if we unlock... What if we switch with this? Nah, that's too much of that. Why don't we put one more of the, one more of this? No, that's too much carbohydrate. We need more fat, that's for sure. For that... Too much protein. Not enough protein. Equal carbohydrate and protein. It's like, it, it reminds me of that one episode of Curse the Cowardly Dog and uh, with the baby, with baby Muriel. And she just keeps complaining about the amount of spaghetti, like the quality of the spaghetti that she keeps getting. And Courage has to keep changing stuff up to make it equal <laughs> for her. Uh, uh, this is definitely not a good day for me. Okay, this is actually good. Ah, oh, thank god. This is actually making it a lot easier for me. Now I only have like three rows, which means... We're gonna be able to do this a lot easier. So, this one... How much is this one gonna need? It needs a lot of protein, like 10 protein, 8 hypochydrate, and a lot of fat actually. Actually, there's quite a lot of fat for the other days as well. You guys need a lot of fat. You guys need a lot of fat here. Hmm. Alright. Meat, meat. Ah, uh, too much fat. What do we replace more with some of this? Yeah, there you go. Alright, sweet. Now for this one. Lot of protein. Lot of fat. Actually, I probably should do this one. Maybe maybe the last day is going to be a lot easier for me. Let's see. Um, And do not press the back button. If I do this, then it will reset everything. And it will screw everything up. Like, I'm on a good track right now. So, let's see. And I'm definitely not going to need that much. That much meat for that. Um... Definitely not gonna need this either. Maybe some soup? Yes! There you go. Alright. It was that second day that... That was a lot more difficult to figure it out because I didn't know the balance, but... It did become easier as time went on. Ah! I just solved the shit out of this puzzle! Hey, um, aren't you getting a little too excited? Yeah, it's kind of freaking me out. Oh, hi. Did you see the screen? <laughs> All right. Uh, wow. Yeah, I told I told you that this escape room is gonna be is gonna be something. This was definitely not a good day for me. All right. You did it. Now we can open this. We now we can open the safe. All right. We got it. We got both the passwords. Let's do this. 
not even gonna listen to what uh, they, to what they have to say. Just put in Moon Star Sun. Moon Star Sun. All right, and get our secret file over here, and then put in the second password. They're ne they're gonna never see it coming. All right. Sun, moon, sun. Sun and moon? Alright. The usual. The key... The map of floor B. Yeah, they're just gonna say the same thing over here. There's a lot of stuff in here. There must be the key cards. We're gonna give this to uh, Clover over here. Your soul. I only need one, like uh, me and Alice. And we got the key. Sweet. Alright, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Alright, sweet. I hope that you don't mind that I'm skipping from... Mm, when, I, when I skip that particular segment lately. Alright, there you go! Okay, do it. There. Three, two, one. But it's the same every single time. Just saving some extra minutes, I guess. <laughs> Alright, well, we solved that. We solved every single escape room. Like a normal escape room. We only need, like, one more escape room through the white doors. And more than likely, like, what, like a couple... Like one or two more escape rooms. An gate has been opened. Oh, yeah, an Ambidex gate has been opened. Um, like, pff, probably like a couple of more surprise escape rooms. 45 minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. The gate's been opened! One of the other teams must have done it. Oh my god! But the rest of us aren't even back yet. Oh, I can fix that. Come on, let's go moving! Let's get moving! Just then. Oh my. Whoa! Did you two just get back? Yes, we did, but... Then the team that opened the AB gate must have been the ones who went through the blue door. That would be Luna, Bai, and Dio. Huh. Wait. You guys went through the green door, didn't you? Then why the hell did you come out of the blue one? There's an explanation for that, I promise. Just tell me, have any of you seen Quark? Yeah, great. Quark disappeared again! What a surprise! <laughs> Quark? No, we haven't seen him. Did something happen? He's gone. Man, I'm really curious about his hiding place. On the other side of the green door, we found a room called the Treatment Center. We found our key cards and left. But on our way out, he just disappeared. So you went through the blue door to see if he gone in there? No, that's not it. Look at this map. Okay, so you arrived there. The long way to the treatment center. Oh, okay. So you even went through the warehouse. Oh, so you go through the green door and the treatment center. And eventually you end up at the blue door. It looks like there's a pretty big room in the middle there. What is it? A warehouse similar to the one on floor A. In any event, we've spent some time searching, but have been unable to locate Quark. Huh. Well, maybe he went back to the other floor already? That is a possibility. I will return and see. 